Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Shelley Van Hoof. And I'm Lieutenant Phil Henry. Here are the headlines at Defense. Soldiers from the Canadian Armed Forces, Australia, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom and the United States recently participated in this year's Canadian Armed Forces Small Arms Concentration or CAFSAC in Ottawa. From service pistols and service rifles to light machine guns, new and experienced shooters tested their marksmanship skills during this year's CAFSAC, where the focus was on operational effectiveness. The concentration also included individual and team-based army skills matches a military biathlon, a series of traditional and dynamic shooting ranges, and a night shoot. CAFSAC is held each year as a way to help improve marksmanship and small arms proficiency, increasing the operational effectiveness of the CAF. Hack the North 2018, Canada's biggest hackathon, recently took place at the University of Waterloo. This is the second year that the Canadian Special Operation Forces Command, or CANSOFCOM, took part providing the theme of situational awareness to the participants as well as mentoring students as they developed creative and innovative solutions to the challenge. Students were accepted from a pool of 6,000 applicants from all over the world. Participants had less than 36 hours to work together in teams to build mobile applications, virtual reality hacks, robots, and more with mentorship from some of the largest tech companies and organizations in the world. Kinsofcom's participation highlighted their role as an innovation leader and supported virtual force recruitment efforts through the Federal Student Work Experience Program. Virtual force analysts will have the opportunity to assist in a variety of operationally relevant, challenging, and essential defense projects that contribute to the security of Canada. Before we go, a reminder that the National Defense Workplace Charitable Campaign officially launches this week. Visit dt.mil.ca forward slash give to learn more about how to donate and what charitable events are happening in your region. That's it for us. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. For Defense Team News.